Okay, we're moving on to part four of Tandy's Bison Bag Assembly. Step three, I am assembling the flap to the back panel. Here, I've used the three small rivets. Notice I've flipped them so that the burrs are showing. Your choice. Here's the support strap on the inside. Next, we're going to attach the handle through those slots and the D tabs at the same time. Now, here are my D tabs, and I'm showing this to you because I've skived half of it down. It'll make the installation a little bit easier. You don't have to do this. It's just a helpful little tip. Okay, so we have completed step four. We've got the handle installed, the D tabs, and the D rings. I've reversed the burrs. And the other thing I did, I didn't tell you about this earlier, but I skived the ends of these gusset tabs. Makes installation a lot simpler. Let's flip it open. Look at the back side. So in the original design, in the kit, it has all these facing outward. I just turned them around. Do what you please. It's your design. We're going to end part four of this video series with step eight, which is attachment of the gusset straps to the front panel assembly. The gusset straps attach, attach to both the front panel and the front pocket, and I've reversed the burrs, as you can see. In part five, in the final part in this series, we'll go over sewing the bag together. Stay tuned because there are some little tips and tricks about sewing that dart together and deciding where you're going to put that interior pocket, either on the interior or the exterior. See you soon.